Hello and welcome to Harry Library Storytime. Today I'm going to read a story, Farmer Glegg's Night Out by Peter Bentley, by kind permission of Macmillan's publishers. Out with the dentures, out with the light, old Farmer Clegg was tucked up for the night. The farm was all quiet, no sound could be heard, nothing was stirring, not even a bird. But wait, what's that whispering, that grunting and snuffling? Up there by the sheep field, what's shifting and shuffling? Quick, bleated Woolworth, the sheep on the gate. The show starts at midnight, roll up, don't be late. We've got some top talent lined up in, on the show. Who'll be the winner tonight, we'll soon know. First Dubbin Dobbin was up on his hooves, busting some moves to those cool clip clop grooves. He spins on his head and he slides down on his knees. Wow, what a win windmill. Check out that freeze. Next, exclaimed Woolworth, they're all going bonkers for old hissing Hank and his honky tonk honkers. Their jazz has pizzazz you can never feel blue to. These guys are the geese you can never say boo to. Then Buttercup Jersey, the moonwalking cow, caused cries of incredible, knock out and wow. She glided and twisted and then did the splits. It was utterly stunning. They loved her to bits. Where's Josie the juggler? found Simon the judge. I've nudged her, said Woolworth. She simply won't budge. No problem, said Simon. Let's keep up the pace. Who's coming next in this barnstorming race? It's loco, cried Woolworth. It's crazy, it's catchy. Arriba, arriba, it's pig mariachi. When Ramsey and Ramsden, the pop singing twins, what singing, what dancing, what crazy great grins. Their dancing's disastrous, they can't sing a note, but they sure win the full marks in the comedy vote. Next silence for Meg, who's the last on the list. For classical fans, this was not to be missed. The crowd were enchanted as musical Meg sang an aria by Mozart while laying an egg. Then suddenly Meg gave a cluck of alarm. Oh heck, Farmer Clegg's on his way to the farm. There's no need to panic, cried Woolworth, the sheep. Just look at old, old Cleggy, he's still fast asleep. The animals watched as in spite of his age, the sleepwalking farmer leapt onto the stage and in his pyjamas set off on a jig and did a few cartwheels with, and jived with a pig. His jigging and jiving had everyone clapping, with hooves, claws and trotters all merrily tapping. As old farmer Clegg danced a quick tantadella, the crowd cried, he's cool, what a brilliant fella. What larks were worth cried, what an evening of fun, now let's ask the judges to tell us who's won. Right, folks, declared Simon, the votes are all in. It's been really tough working out who should win. It could have been Dobbin or Daisy or Meg, but the winner tonight, folks, is Old Farmer Clegg. Hooray for Old Farmer Clegg, the cheers of delight rang out from the audience and into the night. They gave Clegg his trophy as deeply in slumber, he strummed an air guitar to a rock and roll number. Then he flipped off the stage to a rock of the roll of the drum and sleepwalked back home the same way he had come. While the crowd was still cheering, the cock started crowing. Oh dear, declared Walworth, it's time we were going. With whispers of night night and see you and bye, they all hurried homeward to barn, stall and sty. As the pink rays of morning crept over the farm, old farmer Clegg switched off his alarm. In with his dentures and on with the light, ho-hum yawned the farmer, another quiet night. 
For more stories and activities, please see the Harrowell Library's web pages and social media.